How does the toilet work on a yacht? Cześć. Hello. Witam was dzisiaj. I greet you today from the yacht toilet. I will show you how to use the toilet because toilets differ on various yachts and at times lead to problems. On this yacht, we have the simplest solution, a typical toilet with a hand pump. Such a pump has two levers. One of them is the pump proper, let's call it, which has two positions, blocked, marked with a closed lock, and unblocked, marked with an open lock. It should always be blocked when we do not use the toilet. Also, we have a valve which changes the functions of this pump, the direction of pumping. In this position, it flushes the toilet, and in the other position, fills it up with water. How to use this toilet? So, let's assume that there is waste in the toilet. Most frequently, we unblock the pump, pump out the waste, and if we are short of water, we change the direction of the valve and pump. By operating the valve and pump, we ensure that the toilet stays clean. Very importantly, when we think that everything has already been flushed, we make an additional vigorous 10 to 15 pumps so that all waste reaches the waste collector. The waste has to flow upward through the pipe so as not to flow back down into the toilet. The use of such a pump is a bit tiring, which is why I will show you alternative solutions. If you don't want to have calluses from hand pumping the toilet, find a yacht with an electric toilet. Here it is a lot more comfortable. Instead of a hand pump, we have an electric pump. Its function is essentially very similar. The upper button fills the toilet with water while simultaneously flushing it. Whereas this button only fills the toilet and the other button only flushes it. In using these buttons, it is very easy to flush waste from the toilet. What is important to remember, both in the case of an electric and manual toilet, is that nothing should be thrown into the toilet other than that which passes through our own digestive system. Paper should be discarded separately and not into the toilet. Used paper is best discarded in a bag in the cupboard and then thrown out with the garbage and not into the toilet. No hair or other such things should be discarded in the toilet because it can lead to its blockage in the case of both an electric or manual toilet. Blockage of a toilet is very unpleasant because its cleaning and repair are, first of all, quite costly and, secondly, terribly smelly. With this toilet, I will tell you one more thing about the waste collector. When taking possession of a yacht, find out where the waste collector valves are located. Here, the valve is visible and easily accessible. Now it is in open position. We close it, turning it when it is perpendicular to the pipe. Now the collector is closed. What does this mean? When the collector outflow is closed, then all waste collects in this container behind this wall, which means that it is not discharged overboard. This valve should be closed when we are in port, in a bay, at a buoy, or at anchor. Waste should be discharged far from land so as not to pollute the environment. I point this out in particular because the discharge of waste in port 
or in bays, is punishable with a very heavy fine of several thousand euro. It is worth remembering this as well, because anyone swimming around the yacht does not want to swim in waste dumped from this yacht. So, here we have two buttons, but it turns out that we can do this even simpler. Well then, one could ask, why are there two buttons when there could be one? It turns out that this is possible. Here we have one, and it is quite simple. Unfortunately, the drawback of electric pumps is that they wake up the entire crew in the morning. Since we have told you about toilets, let's use the opportunity when in the bathroom to see how the shower works. This looks differently on each yacht. Here it is very comfortable, as we have a foldable screen behind which we can shower. In fact, this shower is used just like at home. We have a valve, water flows, and we shower while remembering to save water because there is always a shortage of water on a yacht. The only thing differentiating such a shower from the one at home is that water collects in a well beneath us. When we finish showering, we have to pump this water out. You'll always find a button somewhere around here with which this is done. In this case, the button is not in a very convenient place because you have to exit the shower in order to pump the water out. However, it's important that it works. Sometimes the shower is much smaller and constitutes a single space together with the toilet. How to use it? We close the door, pull out the shower handle, and turn on the water. You take the shower and afterwards pump out the water from the well that I mentioned earlier by pressing the button. The advantage of such a shower is that you can comfortably wash your feet while sitting down. See you on the water! If you liked our film, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.